Hey everybody, what is going on? Today I thought to show you my full process of creating the logo from hand drawing to the design work that I do in Adobe Illustrator. Initially this client wanted to go with a family friendly, more cartoon like design, but then decided to change tack a little bit and desired a more modern design that would appeal to a broader audience. So what I end up doing in the first stage is creating three to five sketches, often using my digital pad. I have an iPad Pro I use, but uh, I use the Wacom for years just to sketch out by hand some initial ideas that will throw several different design elements out there that the client can then look at and then determine which parts they want to keep, which one appeals to them the most, and which one uh, appeals to their audience or would be the best fit for their company. After having time to discuss the tentative designs and sketches with my clients, it's time to go into Adobe Illustrator and start finalizing and refining the design itself. I open up a new file, oftentimes in a one-for-one -one ratio, especially for round logos, as it turns out to be, and import my JPEG flat file of my sketches. And ultimately, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what the client wants from each part of the design and then go through a process of tracing this and turning it into a vector image. So the client wanted the wreath and the round border from number three, and they wanted the head from number one, but with less patterning within it. They also decided that they liked the sound of Magic Moo rather than Moo Magic, so it was very important to make sure to change that name in the end of all things. So now I'm gonna go through the creative process, start a new layer, and begin tracing I'm turning this into a vector document.
Now that the image is complete, it's time to export in the proper file types and send it off to the client in a well-ordered and labeled fashion. Thank you so much for watching my video. I sure hope you've learned a lot and it doesn't hurt to like and subscribe. I'd love to make more for you guys and the more likes and subscribes I get, the more videos you'll see. See you next time.